say I'm pretty fly for a white guy. Happy free comic book day, everybody. Uh, I'm being a reckless driver right now. I've got the steering wheel in one hand and the phone in the other, but these are the sacrifices I make to bring you up-to-date information on what's going on in my comic book life. So I'm on my way to my local comic book shop known as New England Comics. It's a local chain. They got a bunch of branches statewide, but I'm only going to hit up my local one um, because there's literally only two books out of the list that I really want and they have a, a two issue limit per person so I'm definitely going to get them or hopefully as long as there's not this uh, crazy line um, and they also are giving away a free Tick comic because New England Comics has been I think publishing Tick since the very beginning and then um, they also have another box of random free issues where you can choose two from. Don't know what's in there, but not going to turn down free comics. So other than that, I'm going to pick up a, a Transformers sketch from Casey Collar. He's going to be there. Um, I'm going to see if he can make a little sound wave sketch and uh, personalize it to my daughter. Because, you know, I'm going I'm to force this Transformers thing down her throat. Um... And I'm also going to be picking up some books that are on hold, newer titles that, you know, if you have any idea what I pick up, you, I, you'll definitely be able to guess what they are. And then they're also having a sale, so I'm going to see if maybe I can squeeze in a wall comic or some back issues, but nothing too crazy. So, really excited. Hopefully, I'm getting a little bit of a late start. The shop opened at 10.30. It's about 10.40 right now, so I'm assuming there's going to be a line, because I'm not the only nerd in town. Anyways, we'll see how it goes. I'll try to film inside, but, you know, I'm a little weary of filming out in public and, you know, especially when I'm up with the artist and being like, hey, uh, do you mind if I put this on YouTube? So, you know, not everybody's a Cali Collectibles, okay? So, uh, see you on the other side. Bye. All right, guys, there we are, New England Comics. Damn, I'm shaky. There we go. Uh, not a crazy line, so let's see what happens. Yo, Vanilla, kick it one time, boy! Yo, VIP! Let's kick it! Ice, ice, baby! Ice, ice, baby! Alright, stop, collaborate, and listen! I sit back with my brand new invention! So just, just as a cassette player, nothing else. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, it was the saddest looking stingray. Well, it was more my, uh... My wife wants to personalize this to my daughter. Oh, so she's really? like, oh, you got to get sound wave and cassette form. That's cool. How old is your daughter? Ten months old. Ten so. months. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. I never knew how much I would love having a little girl until I had oh, one of my own. It's the best. They are the greatest. Like going into it, like I had no idea you know, yep. if I was ready to even be a parent, what? but yep. she yes, just she uh, makes it so much, and it's so worth it. Oh, absolutely. I never knew I, I'd like, uh, you know, little pink things so much. <laughs> yeah, she's she's like the happiest little person I've ever met. She's great. Uh, so adorable. <laughs> That's yeah, what I hear. Uh, you know what it was? Like, uh... The little boys, like, you don't worry about them so much when they're teenagers. They're rowdy when they're young. And little girls are the opposite. They're cute and want to smell flowers when they're young. And then when they're teenagers, you worry about them. <laughs> All right, so I'll try to enjoy this while I can, I guess. Indeed. Totally. Cherish <laughs> every diaper change. Now, how inspired do you think you are by like the original G1 designs? Oh, totally. That's what I grew up on. The new one? So, yeah. in my head, that's that's what they look like. You know, and I, I soup them up a little bit. You know, add more detail and stuff. Generation one is that's how they're supposed to look. Yeah. Totally agree. I, I do not like the Michael Bay movies. I like that I made Like, I guess I should be I more like specific. More I, I appreciate them for what they are, but, but they kept they're like the extreme gore a little yeah, in a funny way. than what
what I prefer. I, I think I, I like convinced myself to like the first one just because I really wanted to see them on the big screen. And, yeah. and, and I thought the, uh, you know, the job that, um, who was it? I, I L M did with the actual like the, the graphics and the transformations. I thought that was really good. Oh yeah. Um, but yeah, then by the time the, uh, the second and third ones came around, the, the luster kind of wore off, and I'm like, man, they're really like mutilating these characters that I love. Yeah. Like, I, I totally agree. Like, why can't why can't Bone be Talk still? And, you know, De Devastator was one of my favorites growing up, and they just they didn't even use it. They like all they did was eat a pyramid in the second one. I was like, really? Yeah, it was really <laughs> kind of sad. It was. Yeah, like there, you're right. There were parts in the first one that I thought were enjoyable, like the little arrival, the Autobots, and all that. And that was kind of cool. But I don't know. Just overall, I wasn't a big fan. How do they deal with the language? Do you mind um, just saying that to making it to Abigail? Sure, please. We'll see if she appreciates it when she's older. <laughs> anyway, so that theater was supposed to do um, Evil Dead, Evil Dead 2, and then the new one. And, That's uh, phenomenal. Thank you so much. No problem, man. So, I really appreciate it. All right, guys, keeping this low tech today, but I had a lot of fun at my very first free comic book day. Here are the books I got. Got the Judge Dredd Classics. I actually picked this up for a friend because one of the books that I wanted they didn't have. Um, and he is at he was at Drill, so I was like, hey, I'll pick this up for you, and uh, when you get out, see if you can track down the book I wanted. Uh, then I also picked up The Walking Dead for myself. The book that I wanted was the Red Ten Number Zero, which is that like indie book that I first discovered at the last year's Boston Comic Con. Um, and then my shop has also given away uh, a couple other free books of your choice. Nothing spectacular, but I picked up a Spawn, number five, McFarlane, and Transformers War Within, number one. Uh, I was a big fan of the Dreamwave series, so especially their uh, their Generation One line. Then the books that I paid for, I got Revival number nine. No surprise there. And where there's a revival, there's a Walking Dead number one oh nine. And I also I didn't I didn't pay for Chu, the latest Chu, but uh, my friend who I got the Judge Dread for, um, he bought it for himself, read it, and then gave it to me. So I do have that as well. Then the uh, the dollar the subscriber pick dollar bin issue of the week goes to Lost World Comics. He came age thirteen, and I came away with Terry Lebon's Cud Comics number one. Oh, look at that. A syringe. Some uh, religious pamphlets. Looks like... <laughs> it's actually pretty funny. Look, there's like planes crashing and meteorites and cars and um, a man with an AK. Looks like a... Looks like either the apocalypse or, uh, you know, any average day in Detroit. Oh, and uh, I also kind of had an impulse buy... Since I didn't, you know, they didn't have the the Red Ten book that I wanted, both the free one and the paid one, because number three was supposed to come out, and they were having a sale, so I was like, "All right, I'm gonna dig in a little bit." So I got a Wall comic, and I got, came away with the Invincible Iron Man number six. Vengeance cries the Crusher. It's in okay shape. Uh, original asking price was thirteen dollars, thirty percent off. So I got it for nine, nine bucks. Can't beat, you know, a Silver Age book for under ten bucks. So I'll take that. Love Iron Man. Love Silver Age Iron Man. How it looks and everything looks amazing in Mylar. So I'll take it. So guys, that was my uh, my haul for this month. Um, I really enjoyed myself at my first free comic book day. Um, I didn't feel like I was too much of a loser with Casey Collar. I don't know. I'll, I'll review the video and see how that came out. And, uh, yeah, one thing I, I, I did, which I, I probably shouldn't, is that I wore a Transformer shirt to this thing. And I almost feel like 
that's a loser move. It's it's kind of like wearing a band shirt and going to a concert of that same band, which I also did when I went to go see Weezer. So, whatever. I guess I'm just a big loser. So, love it or leave it. Bye, Iron Man. Goodbye.